Welcome back to Let's Play Spider-Man, Web of Shadows. I'm Burning Dogface, and Venom is really in need of a beating. Many of them. Pinata Man remains on the move. Whoa! Where did that come from? Well, the sky, presumably. Still doesn't really answer my question. Worth it. Are these guys gonna keep endlessly spawning? I just have to deal with them. I don't know what to do. When in doubt, evil must be punched in the face! This is gonna get turned into so many animated GIFs and it hits the internet. Stupid news chopper. Oh! You're not Venom. Sorry kids, mommy and daddy need to talk. <clears throat> Down to you and me, you bug eyed freak. It'll be nice to get through a battle without having to rely on the mighty Pinata Man. Really uncomfortable. Oh, it's chained into another one. I don't have a problem with that. Should have oh god no, no, that's that's my special nader, not my health. That's my health going down. I'm glad the red suit regenerates health faster. Well, that's not the best uh, offense, is a good defense. Of course, I see that, but I haven't been blocking this entire time. Only Pinata Man can save the day. Round 
tights. Whoa! I recently learned that, uh... When they originally introduced the character of Wolverine, uh... They seriously considered calling him the Badger. But, uh, badgers aren't very intimidating, even if they are ferocious. And they liked, uh, Wolverine, because it sounded like wolf, which is a cool animal. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. I remember the days in Giant Man with baseball bats, the biggest threat I faced. Nice. Counterattack. I totally forgot about that. I haven't actually been able to do that yet. Ooh. All right, that looks awesome. A bumper and B. That's not what a spiral looks like, but okay. I don't think I've been able to pull off that other one even once. Okay, uh, that's a longer wind-up in the opponent is webbed with always an improved aerial fury with the right timing. Oh yeah, shit, I haven't even done that yet. I had no idea how many of these pods Venom had made, or how he did it, but I knew I had to stop him from pulling any more people into them. I guess we should get started on finding those hidden symbiotes then. Ooh, frame rate. A little minor dip. This is not what I meant to do. But okay. Don't think that's how gravity works, but whatever. Now let's go into battle! I got too many moves, uh... I remember what some of the other ones that it's unlocked were. I don't remember unlocking that. That kind of looks awesome. Increases damage. Uh, 
Damn it. Bumper and B, bumper and X. Okay. Yeah, stretch. Yawn. I actually slept pretty well last night. I don't know why I'm yawning. I think that defied physics. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to give that one a try. Well, that's good. This side of town seems fine so far. say one of the things I didn't like about Spider-Man 3, just a little nitpicky thing, as opposed to all of the actual big problems with it, was that, uh, the black suit in that movie was just a, uh, you know, color-dampened version of his regular suit, right down to the, you know, physical design of it. Where? Where? Oh, it's... Damn it, I'm going the wrong way. Stupid brain. What does I break? I hate to break up this happy moment. There's one. Is if it isn't the crazy looking building on the edge of town. So I accidentally learned a spoiler about this game, but it's a spoiler for the black suit path. So I don't really mind, since I'm not going to be experiencing that. Apparently, if you, uh... Decide to be a bad guy, by the end of the game, you actually have to kill Wolverine. Which is notoriously difficult. Kinda says something to me about how dangerous Spider-Man really is. I mean, that's why Wolverine hates him. Wonder if you just become Venom at the end of the game if you're uh, that evil. Take over from Eddie. Ambulance isn't even going in a hurry. So it just wants to annoy everyone. Oh. 
No, don't get up. It'll be fine. Well, at least the tech goons have stopped showing up, I think. What is this? This thing on the map in front of me it seemed to be moving. Oh. Oh dear. Put the hives in Central Park. Oh, nothing to swing from. Everybody knows you're not supposed to go into Central Park at night. Let's try to make it safe during the daytime, alright? Eat a dick, hive. Yeah, maybe we should call the Fantastic Four, just a thought, you know, some kind of scientist to see how to stop these things other than by punching them? people. Nice! Baked him out. That was pretty good work, Cage. Almost like we planned that. Hey, that kind of scared me for a second there. But the last pulse had, had revealed him as a symbiote. That would have been troubling. What? No! Not attack Max again. That guy's gotta be one. Yeah, the dude is up running across the street in my direction. I'm here for you, Spider. Bye, Cage. Crouching. There we go. Much better. Now I can beat you unconscious. I am really disappointed that the uh, 
dialogue from the pedestrians is de entirely dependent on your uh, costume and not what you're wearing. And not what you're wearing, and not what you've done, I mean. What you're wearing and not what you've done is the first way I'd thought of saying that. And then I said, your costume instead, and I kind of threw myself off. Um... I mean, yeah, the original Fable had the, uh... You know, pedestrians and random passers-by reacting to your... Uh... Morality meter. Well... Let's get that last spider. Ah, oh, it, there's two of them. I'm Burning Dog Face, and this has been Let's Play Spider-Man: Web of Shadows. Tune in next time when we find more of these symbiote freaks and send them off to peaceful sleep. <laughs> Later. Oh yeah.